When you first log into Appointed, your account will look a little something like this. It might not have bookings in yet, but I will show you how we can get there. So first of all, in this example, I'm showing you Edinburgh's personal styling expert, so it is retail focused. However, Pointed works with lots of different industries, so just bear that in mind whilst I'm taking you through. The first things first, I recommend starting left to right on these tabs. So let's go to setup. Under setup, you can manage your services and your resources, which are your bookable calendars. You can manage your assets, which is equipment if necessary. You can edit your opening times. You can customise your business settings to change the time zone and currency if need be and edit your business profile. This is where you can add your email address, your business address if need be and any other details. Under here you can also manage your users and permissions so you can invite other users to the account if they need to access it as well. But first things first, I recommend setting up your resources. In my example I have Jessica and Ruby who are bookable personal stylists. To add a resource, simply click add resource here. I'm going to go into Jessica's information just so we can see. Edit resource. For each resource, for each calendar, in this example it is a staff member but it could be a bookable location or space. I've put in a name and email and I want Jessica to receive confirmation and cancellation emails. You can add other details here if need be. You can also group your resources, so in this example I've put Jessica into a bridal section. You can manage resource groups here. Once you're happy, hit save changes. And go back to resources. Then you can add on a second resource. I've added in Ruby. In both Jessica and Ruby you'll notice there is a working hour option and this is the important part. We want to set the availability so when customers book online they see the right times. So you click on working hours for Jessica, we can see 9 till 4. You can click onto a schedule to edit it and maybe change the days and update. Alternatively, you can delete and start totally fresh, click on the plus and fill out your schedule form, applying to a date range, multiple days and setting the time and saving. You can also add a reason and save. We also have separate support guides and videos specifically on the availability, so I do recommend taking a look at them if you have further questions around that. Once you're happy with your working hours, we can then go into the services. So under setup, hit manage services. In my example, I have personal styling. This is a service I've already created. You can create a copy of it for ease and rename it and make some adjustments. You can also edit the existing service or delete it. I'm going to go into the service to show you those steps. For each service you create and appointed, there are four areas to look at. The basic details, the type of service, the availability, and also the online booking settings. Click on each section to the drop down and fill out the necessary information and hit next to get onto the second section. When you've looked at all sections, hit save service. Once you're happy with your services and categories, we can now go on to booking tools. Under booking tools, you have a section called the booking flow. This is where you can adjust the steps customers go through. So you can customize it by adding booking questions and other important settings such as how much notice you require for booking. You can also manage CRM fields. We always ask first name, last name, email and phone number, but you can add additional such as date of birth or address. The important thing here though is your booking tools. So you have a microsite and booking widgets. Your booking widgets are a piece of iframe code that you can copy and paste into your website. They won't redirect customers away from your site, so they look really native. I have a personal shopping example as you can see here, I can adjust the settings on the left and change the appearance. When you're happy with your widget, you can then save it. Click Get Embed Code to copy and paste this into your website. If you do just want a URL link, you can copy and paste that into an email, for example, or on social media. The widgets are a box that look like this. You can also build them to be a popover, so it's a Book Now button instead. If you want a book now button on your site, save the widget again, click get embed code 
and the code's a little longer, but it's the same process. You copy the code and paste it into your site. If I show you the URL version of it, you can then make a test booking. So copy it and paste it into your browser. Now we can pretend to be the customer and make a test booking. So in my booking flow, I've asked customers to choose a resource group. I will select Bridal. I've also asked them to choose a staff within that group, Jessica. They can then choose a date and time. So I will choose Thursday at 12 p.m. The customers then asked to fill out their contact details. Remember you can customize your flow in the online booking settings by adding booking questions and adding additional CRM fields. With the widgets, you can enable our feature which will allow customers to add another booking. This is great if you want them to book lots of bookings at once and even perhaps pay at once. I'm going to hit confirm. Now the customer has booked an appointment, they'll receive an automated confirmation message, which I'll show you where to set up, and the booking will go into the appointed calendar. You will notice on our widgets there is a top right world icon. If you click onto that, you can change the language. We currently operate in 14 different languages. Currently, the time zone is showing as London GMT to me as that's where I am based. So the booking widget will show the customer's time zone. This means any time zone math is already calculated for you. So let's go back to the appointed calendar to see the appointment. We can see that appointment made at 12 p.m. on Thursday the 13th. With general day-to-day -day management of your appointments, you can click to drag and drop them, either up or down. Upon release, it will ask if you want to send a rescheduled notification. You can also drag and drop across calendars if the staff member can do the service that's been booked. For example, let's try and move Libby to Jessica. Jessica can do personal styling, so that's okay. You can also delete appointments by hovering over the top right icon here and clicking yes. To view more information about the appointment, simply click onto it and you can see the date and time, the customer. You can also add in an arrival status and add any notes. If the customer has asked certain questions before booking, you'll be able to see it here. It will say questions and view. As well as the automated messaging, you can send a direct message. This is a one-to-one -one appointment. However, you might be setting up a group event, in which case, rather than one space, it might say out of 10, for example. So go to the customers tab and you will see a list of everybody who is on this event. Note, you can also add customers yourself. It is grayed out because there is one space, but you can increase the space manually by overriding it and adding a customer. You can either search for existing customers or add a fresh one and click confirm. As well as adding customers to group events, you can also add a fresh booking. You will go through the same steps as the customer did. This will generate the email confirmation to Julie, but it will also create a customer record. Every time someone books, a customer re record is automatically generated for you. You can see this in two ways, by clicking onto the booking and clicking onto the customer's name and viewing their page. Alternatively, you can go to the top left customers tab. This is your CRM system. On the right hand side, you can search for customers, export them, view and delete. In each customer record, if we look at Ivan as an example, we can see his notes, any previous bookings and the communications that were sent to Ivan. You can click on the subject to view them. As I mentioned, this will also trigger the email confirmation, which leads me on to the communications. You have a marketing suite as well at Pointed. Please note this won't be turned on automatically. Once you subscribe, you can ask our team and they can turn this on for you. 
but you have your SMS confirmations, email confirmations and reminders and follow-ups. So first I recommend looking at your email confirmations. You can control your email notifications via the toggles by simply clicking on or off. To edit the messages, click the edit text link. There are two templates in appointed. First, the standard template here, where there is static messaging that will change automatically and that you could add your messaging in here and adjust and format accordingly. The second template is the advanced email template. Once you're turned on, you're no longer restricted by the static messaging and instead you can add your own freely. You can use the variables to build your message. Don't worry if you're new to this, there is a support guide here which will give you more information about it. There are also really great examples that you can copy and paste to start with. Once you're happy with the content of your email, hit save email. You can also brand your messaging much more by adding HTML headers and footers, which I recommend doing. When customers do book an appointment, as well as those email notifications, they will receive a calendar event. This is a great way to reduce no-shows. Another great way is by using the reminder functionality. So go back to your email and SMS. And the second thing is to set up your reminders and follow-ups. Similar to the services, you can edit, make a copy and delete your reminders and follow-ups. I'm gonna go into one so we can see what it looks like. You can relabel it and fill out the information here. What's unique about the reminders and follow-ups as you can be really specific Automatically, they might be sitting on any, but you can send a reminder if the customer books with, in this example, Jessica, and if they book a personal styling appointment. This means you can create multiple reminders and multiple follow-ups. Similar to the confirmations, you have a static, uh, sorry, a standard template here, or otherwise you can use our advanced email feature. Again, once you're happy with your reminder or follow-up content, click Save. We do also have the third option here of managing your SMS confirmations. They look just the same as email, so you would use them by turning them on and you can edit the text. Please remember you have to purchase the SMS bundles to use them. The next stage of finalising your account is the Connect. Connect is how we can connect with other systems. So if you want to offer virtual appointments, you can connect with Zoom or Microsoft Teams. If you want to take online payments when a customer books online, you can connect to payment gateways such as Stripe, Square or Braintree. You can also sync your external calendar. This is a great way to manage appointments on the go. You can connect with an EPOS Now Till system, which is a point of sale system. You can connect with Free Agent to manage your invoices, connect with Salesforce, and also to put your tools on social media, you can connect with Facebook Business. For developers, we do have API documentation, which I recommend reading here, and you can also create webhooks. This allows information from appointed to be sent elsewhere, such as MailChimp. The last two tabs of your appointed account are here. Under your user login section here, you can edit your login details here. You can purchase SMS credits and see the card attached to your account. You can also view the activity log, such as any changes that are being made. You can switch account, log out, and view your business reports. Appointed generates reports for you to export and to a CSV file, which you can import into spreadsheet and analyze. The final tab in your appointed account is this little question mark here. Click onto it and you can view all our support guides. It will direct you to another page where you can search for anything and watch some self-help videos. If you do get really stuck, however, don't worry, we do have a 24-7 support team, which you can get in touch with here.